Ladies and gentlemen, welcome out to another RGL.GG Invite Sixes Cast. It's week 4A for this matchup. Froyo Tech taking on Witness Gaming, the top two teams in the league. This is sure to be a good one. My name's Godfather, joined by Space Ghost Coffee, and I got Dolphin behind the scenes as always. How you doing, Space? Doing great, and I'm really excited to, you know, watch Froyo Tech versus Witness Gaming. By this point, becoming, you know, kind of a classic staple matchup, I feel like. You know, we've seen it many times in the past, you know, different outcomes. You know, it hasn't been a one-sided role, that's for sure, and it, I don't know, I'm just, it's always, it's always a pleasure to see these two teams play each other. It's always, you learn something new every time. Yeah, absolutely. These two teams have gone head-to-head -head a lot of times in past seasons, but not yet this season. It'll be their first time seeing each other, and it's, uh, yeah, definitely a match to be excited about. Other things to be excited about is that uh, LAN is coming up in just under two months, right? We just saw the video for that, so time to get hyped for that. Yeah, definitely, you know. I don't know if I can attend myself, but regardless, definitely if you uh, can make it out there, LAN is always a fun time. I have been to some of the past, and it's uh, I never have once regretted it. LAN is, you know, it's a really good time for all, and uh, I believe that's going to be the grand finals for the season. It's going to play in LAN, right? Am I wrong on that? Playoffs, playoffs. yeah. Playoffs is going to happen at LAN, you know. One of the reasons a lot of the teams wanted to play this season is because of the, the LAN for playoffs. So, very excited to see that as well. Yeah, and that's making the season pretty competitive as well. Even middle of the bracket matchups are important if you want to get to that crucial land spot. So uh, definitely seeing a lot of good play around the league. And tonight should be no different. Again, the two top teams, Froyo Tech and Witness Gaming, going head to head for the first time this season. Yeah, we might want to go over rosters just before you know. Think you know, but before we really get started, although maybe it's a little early. Well, who knows? But regardless. Yeah, I, I'm really excited. Yeah, let's go over rosters. I'll do Freya. So for Freya Tech, you know, just in case, you know, you're new or you haven't, you know, had been following what's exactly been going on. The Freya Tech roster has remained the same since the last time we saw them. We have Jay and Banny on Scout, Marmalu and Mirror Man on Soldier, Habib on Demo Man, and May on Medic. A classic roster. Bring back Jay. I think that was, what, last season, two seasons ago? And Freya Tech has been strong since, of course. Uh, on the side of Witness Gaming, I think it's High Five is the new addition for this season. He'll be on Scout alongside Brand Slam. Laz and Ash are on Soldier. Art is the demo man and law guy on Medic to round out another great roster. Yeah, I, High Five. I believe it was. I believe it was last season. Regardless, there is a there's a roster swap that should not be mentioned. But regardless, you know, High Five on the team. You know, High Five. From what I've seen so far in the matches he's played, he's. Um, not only filled the role, but actually excelled, I'd say, for Witness Gaming. They've done an excellent job playing with High Five. So definitely, you know, I, I, I think he's one of those players that really can just, you can plug and play. You just put him in and he'll do fine, regardless of the hue environment. So, you know, a great pickup by Witness Gaming. And yeah, overall, I the rosters really haven't changed too much in, like, very recent memory. So the real thing we're gonna that's going to be new for both teams is just map dynamics and really, you know, how they like to play, and maybe some new straps that happen on the maps. Speaking of maps, tonight we will be on Process. It's just one map, of course, for a regular season. Sunshine. Or Sunshine, not Process, what am I saying? Sunshine. Um, and, of course, only one map tonight. We have pick bands up on stream. Now, I was seeing the, the Process pick on another match tonight, I think. But anyway, uh, what do you think of this map, these two teams going at it uh, for their matchup tonight? I think it's. I think the map bands are really interesting because, like, it's funny. I looked back at Witness Gaming's like their map bands, and they've played Product three times this season, and then they banned it against Freya Tech. So it seems to me that they're really confident on Product, except for playing against Freya Tech. Freya Tech kind of have had their number on that map in past history, just kind of throughout. You know, Witness Gaming's been pretty dominant on Cough, but Product itself, even though it's a game on map, Freya is just a little too strong on the map. So that makes sense for the ban. Fire Tech banning Bagel also makes sense. Witness Gaming historically have been very good on that map. And uh, both teams did elect to ban one Boomer map each, with Witness Gaming banning, you know, Badlands and Fire Tech banning Granary. So, you know, equal amount of Boomer maps banned. So realistically, I think the other map that actually was left in there was Process. So between Process and Sunshine, Witness Gaming decided to go Sunshine, which, you know, I think you can argue that Sunshine and Process are kind of vaguely similar maps. They're both can they both have reputations for being a little bit of a scout paradise? Yeah, you know, scouts do have a good time on the map. Although, yeah, you know, I think I believe literally the last cast I did uh, definitely showed that scouts can have a fun time on any map, even the traditionally soldier dominant maps. You know, it's just a strong class. But regardless, uh, 
I'm not super surprised by the pick. They played each other on it a lot, but not really enough, I feel like, that like they know exactly what each other are going to do. Yeah, fair enough. These teams, uh, again, haven't met this time this this season. So, uh, I mean, you generally know how players are going to play, how teams are going to play, especially since these are established teams, but uh, someone can always bring out something surprising. Uh, speaking of surprising, we are looking at the pregame logs and seeing a very strong pickup team playing against Witness oh, Gaming. Oh, that's a super team. There is a... The, the super... <laughs> there, was, there was like... I'm not surprised Witness Gaming dropped friends in pregame. It was like Slendish, Alex, that EXE. That, that was a super team. I'm not even going to bring it up. <laughs> it was... Regardless. Also, I think this is the first time Witness Gaming have played Sunshine in a match this season. So definitely, they might have a bit of a surprise factor going into this if they're on their game. But if they're not on their game, you could very well see... Uh, you know, for it, like, taking some rounds just because they may not feel super comfortable on the map, even though they've had the same core together, you know. Every new season comes with its a little, you know, twists and turns. Yep, there's always uh, quirks to work out as you go through the season, and of course this season very important to get those figured out going towards the LAN. Should be a great time, uh, of course, to see all these players in action in person. Uh, I don't know, any matchups specifically you want to talk about, or... Get this, you could talk about the sick merch we have. Yeah, true. I, honestly, I, why don't I let you plug the merch? I feel like I, I'm not a great salesperson myself. Okay, well, if I need to do it, then I will. Uh, <laughs> we, we do have some pretty amazing merch made by the League Design team, so go check it out at rgl.gg. Uh, shop to rgl.gg, excuse me, and up on screen are some of the amazing designs. But those aren't all the designs. You have to go to the site to check them out. Uh, I really love that simple soldier with the cloud uh, behind it. The soldier rocket launcher, excuse me, with the cloud behind it sort of deal. The sniper rifle with the rose pattern is beautiful. And there are some great map art ones as well to check out. So definitely do that. Exclamation point merch. And uh, go get that. Get ready for LAN. Yeah, I definitely like a lot of, some of the merch. I bet product shirt in particular the uh top center one that one looks really clean i actually was debating i i know i've been saying this for a while but i really have been debating picking that one up myself it's like it it has that right amount of it looks good if you know what the t-shirt's about you will understand it but it doesn't immediately reveal your power level you know you're not, you're not a broadcasting to the world so it's it's a very nice low-key kind of shirt very much dig it i agree that's uh i got the rgl sun sun set design uh which also you wouldn't really know what it is other than a cool shirt unless you knew about tf2 and rgl so they're pretty simple pretty subtle and all around just great stuff but i think that's enough talking about that and time to turn our attention back to the game as pregame should be wrapping up shortly here yeah i uh i was actually looking at the pregame yard they actually have skis on medic in the pregame i i have to check for myself it's true i don't know if he's just ringing or if he's uh, ringing for the scrim or ringing for the match because he's ringing for the match that definitely could bring a different dynamic just because I don't know exactly who's the main caller on witness gaming but definitely having a different medic can impact your calls a lot even if they're similar like skill level in terms of like yeah everything else yeah having skis uh, I don't believe they are the main medic but uh, no, it's, it's and, usually a little guy yeah it's usually a little guy but skis is uh, definitely an accomplished med but it's always a little different playing with a different roster, even if it's just one person changed. And it does look like Witness Gaming pulls out the win in their pregame, 3-2. I don't think that really says too much about their matchup against Froyo. Their results don't matter. Yeah, they ended on a high note, though. And it sounds like we're going to be heading over to the correct server in a second here now. So give us a second there, and then we'll hopefully get right into it. Yeah, I, I am interested to see Sunshine uh, just in general. It's a really... Sunshine has a lot of weird dynamics to it in terms of, like, it's, the mid fight is kind of, maybe not unique, but it doesn't, like, I think he may have. Did I, did I let go? Uh, perhaps technical difficulties. I think we are still here, but Space Ghost may have cut out there. But I think you're back now, so uh, finish that oh, thought for sure. What up? Hello? Is uh, technical difficulties over? Yeah, I think we can hear you. Excellent, okay. Weird. Regardless, yeah, my, my thought was just that uh, Sunshine Mid, there's no surprises on. You can see pretty much the entire map, and even if there, someone's hiding in cafe or doing something kind of weird, 
you can still see them just because they're not there. Like, you go to mid, you don't see a soldier, you're like, hmm, I wonder where that guy is. So, there's no real surprise on Sunshine mid. But it's one of those mids you can really, if you die in Sunshine mid, you can just get sent back to last and that's just over. I mean, every 5 CP is like that, but definitely, uh, I think both teams really want to focus on mid here, just because if if one, if one Witness Gaming or Freya don't have their mids down, this could very quickly turn into a snowball. Yeah, mid fights are going to be crucial in this matchup because both teams are such high caliber and have so much experience on maps like this. So it's easy mid to last if you lose the fight and then you're in a really tough situation because eventually a defense will break one way or the other. So it's definitely important to have. Uh, oh, we're hearing from Dolphin. He's in the server. Skis. There you go. go. 71 ping. I don't know, man. Top pinging the server right now. Jay oh, five Skis ping. is always a high ping gamer. That's just a, you know. If Skis had low ping, it would be too powerful. And, but you couldn't have that. The, the league would crumble under the, the sheer massive weight of Skis' skill. Uh, I'll take your word for it on that. <laughs> but we'll see talents at land, perhaps. Low ping Skis is an opportunity, is a possibility, rather. Uh, if he does get on that final land roster, these teams will most likely make it again. The top two teams in the league, we've seen them in grand finals a couple seasons in a row. So will most certainly be a good matchup here tonight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I the only like concern in the back of my head for witness is the fact that you know having skis on medic, I wouldn't call it a downgrade by any means, but it definitely might you know in change how their calls work. Like I mentioned earlier, just because uh you know if low guy is their main caller has specific roles in calling and skis goes in that role, he's not going to know exactly what the team calls in certain spots. So there might be a little bit of uh, unfamiliarity there, but. Yeah, if there was a ringer, I would would get for Wall Guy. I think Skis might be that ringer. You know, he's had the experience certainly. So, and he has a lot of familiarity with all the players in the server. So definitely, again, I I think he's very qualified for the ringer role here. I think actually Skis is rostered on the side of Witness Gaming, so less of a ringer, more of a substitute for true, this true. matchup. So um, even even less to worry about perhaps for Witness Gaming, having someone that is rostered and knows what's going on, knows how they play. But yeah, of course, it's going to be some sort of uh, directional side grade, a different pace of play perhaps, or um, you know changes elsewhere. But again, shouldn't be too much of an issue. We do have everyone on server, so I'm going to start thinking about predictions for this match. I was thinking the same thing. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's on Witness Gaming to really prove themselves here. I think in the past, Witness versus Fro, it's always been competitive, but I haven't seen Witness Gaming really show up dominantly recently. I feel like Fro Tech so far, this particular incarnation of Fro Tech, kind of, you know, Witness Gaming puts up a good fight, but in the end, Fro Tech has really kind of, I feel like, come away with the wins. So I think it's really on Witness Gaming here to prove... You know, prove everyone wrong and show that yeah, they can still bring Freya Tech to the brink and beat Freya Tech. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be like a Freya Tech 5 3. Oh, exactly what I've already predicted in chat, which everyone should be on top of right now. It looks like everyone is agreeing. So far, it's about a 4 3 average in chat for those predictions. Yeah, um, it's, but I'm... it's close but Freya dominant, which makes sense. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what we have come to expect over the past couple of seasons. Although Witness Gaming, to their credit, has put up excellent fights and sometimes comes out on top. So it's by no means a guaranteed Froyo Tech win, which is sometimes uh, what you could go into a match expecting. Um, definitely an upset possibility. I agree. I think Witness Gaming likely has three points to get here. Um, and at the end of the day, if Witness Gaming loses a couple more... All of the round wins they can get matters even more because it goes win, loss, and then match points, I believe. So it's uh, it's important to get match points here, especially with land on the horizon. Yeah. Another thing you consider, too, is that Witness hasn't played this map yet. And a first I think, played it once against one of the lower-level invite teams. So this is definitely kind of a playoffs preview in terms of you know how comfortable they're going to be in the pick bands. Because if the Witness gaming comes out like really hot out of the gate on this map, Frantic might be a lot more uncomfortable banning it, or rather picking it, in playoffs. They might feel, oh, we should ban this map, or we should at least at the bare minimum avoid you know, picking it, because Witness Gaming are good on this map. But if Witness Gaming, they, if they come out kind of slow, then Freo definitely can feel like, oh, we gotta leave this, you know, we should pick this early because we have their number on it. So definitely, uh, this could be a potential preview for playoffs. Even if you don't see this map in it, it will impact uh, the pick pins. Yeah, absolutely. The 
the teams are always trying to figure out others' weaknesses, especially on maps. If there is a map to pick uh, over another, teams will look at past matches, past interactions, scrims, what have you, to make that decision. We do have all 12 on server. I think 5-3 is a pretty safe bet. Chat seeming like 4.3 4 to 2.9 sort of deal, so it's a lot closer than it was earlier uh, as Froyotech does ready up here. Any potential last thoughts before this match might start? I have a lot of thoughts, but I don't know if any of them are relevant. Uh, we definitely have... Like, okay, this isn't relevant, but the Among Us like character A has been spreading through Invite, and it's horrifying. It's just been growing. Like... First it was Witness had it, now Habib has it. It's terrifying. It is pretty terrifying, actually. I wonder if Banny will make that swap. We have Ash running around with <laughs> uh, that'll be the day. Um, That would be the day. Banny, but with an Among Us A. Terrifying to think about. But it sounds like we will go live soon. Who do you think the players to watch are on these mid-fight rollouts? I think the soldiers definitely... I mean, the the, the soldiers, def if they want to go and try to kill the demos, they can. That is one of the... the works of that this mid is that the fast bomb is very good and if the demo arrives at mid if there's a soldier in his face and he dies that could just be instantly over for your team so definitely can be a little stressful as a demo on this map just to you know i, I i'm gonna be watching the robert just to see if any of them actually decide to go fast and put any early aggression onto the demos but on that note we are off Yep, we're off into the first mid-fight this week for a matchup between Freyo and Witness Gaming getting right into this fight. It'll be Marmalu taking a bit of high ground and the team's trying to get there. It looks like Witness Gaming actually showed up a bit faster, but won't do too much early. There's a soldier bomb for the blue team. Skis goes down immediately to Mirror Man. It's a beautiful bomb. Gets a beautiful play. Habib falling as well as Mirror Man. Uh, and Skis is the crucial pick there in that mid-fight. The rest of Witness Gaming is going to back off. Artist is uh, barely skipping out of there, but a good mid-fight from Freyo. Yeah, that's pretty much as well as you want it to go for Froyotech. You know, you lost two players, but in the end, it's not that big of a deal when you have Uberad and you had enough players, you can just easily cap second here while your players roll out. So honestly, overall, that, that that's as good as you really get other than a full wipe for Froyo. So, Winnis Gaming already on the backseat after the first mid. This might be a very quick Froyo Randall. So Winnis Gaming have a very good uh, Sunshine last defense, which, you know, it's not the hardest map in the world to defend, but it's certainly not the easiest. It's uh, between uphill battle for Witness Gaming here. Absolutely, they did opt for the high five engineer and Brandslam's picked up Scout, so two off glasses is going to be a left side push. Here comes the Uber demo in the air, getting stuffed fairly well. The gun will go down and people off their off glasses. Good pressure onto point. Ash going to be the first to fall in this fight, though. Only 53% for Skis right now. He's got to be careful being boxed, uh, bundled into a corner. Excuse me. That's going to be no one on point from Witness Gaming. Froyo gets the cap in a very convincing opening. Yeah, that was very convincing. That, that last push, you know. When this game you really feed that many players, but you know, in the end, just that one or two player picks were enough that they could just stand on the point, and they really couldn't fight them just because of the health and you know, losing a soldier. So, in the end, that was a very strong opening for Frantex. So if I'm winning this game, you better you have to have a better better breed because if you go too low right away, it's not good. We do see Rumble is going to fast bomb and try to get some early spam into choke because when this game is rolling out, he's already going to be going to drop a little low. But He's 30 health, Marmalu goes yet. for a bomb, going out to Art though, beautiful play, Laz also gonna fall, two down, now three as Ash goes down to Banny, that is three down, and now Ski's in trouble, he's gonna get down to 50 health, but will escape, Marmalu dies in pursuit there, uh, as his high five uh, somewhere get cleaned up by Banny, so another very quick mid fight win, that mid cap just coming in now, so it'll be second to last yet again here. Skis ate so much damage, but he just had to leave, which, on a positive note, preserved his life. So they're kind of uber for last. But the downside is they didn't really have a mid. They kind of showed up. Skis just, like, there was just so much damage onto the medic that he had to back up into the valley or he was just going to insta die. And, you know, I think it's a wise decision to preserve your life there. But, you know, being on last isn't what you want to see if you're winning this game here, you know. But at least you do have your uber, so. You know, Freya Tech only has five minutes to push this. That is one thing I forgot to mention. Is, uh, if you haven't tuned into the season yet, Round timers are five minutes, not nine, so a lot less time to, you know, kind of crack these last holds. The gun goes down there, so the off class is removed. It might be time for a push, says Jay. He runs through for free, no debt, getting around, but Marmalu does die on his bomb. Jay goes down, Brand Slam, the only one to fall, so two men. Sack picks up one, but not the medic, nor the four, so out comes Witness Gaming, taking a lot of space here, knowing they can push back Froyo with their player advantage. Yeah, this sack out of last is, if it even happens, 
I don't even know if they're gonna do it because they lost one. Yeah, they're just <laughs> they, 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 they spammed a little, then they just decided, eh, I don't want to lose. So they backed up because you know they only have four minutes to defend, and then they just have another mid fight. So we, this yep. might be I haven't seen it yet, but this might be Whoa. our first. Ooh, yeah. Artist catching a mirror man there is a huge pick because that gives it so much space that he can already see what escaping dirt. Walking around lobby trying to buy some time. Oh, and Fanny goes in all alone. That's gets a two, taken out that's by two Ash. picks. Yeah, that's two picks, and now it's all on Witness Gaming to come forward here. Uh, they will have to be careful of those traps. Laz going down to Habib's dead. So that is the trap's dead. And Ooh, Grant's not going to fall to Habib pulling out the works on this last offense. So Fanny is going to be down, but now Witness Gaming are down to. Defending last, and it's on Freya Tech to see if they can get the force here. Oh, they're going in. Marmalou's up top. Mirror Man immediately dead. There's and the gets force, the force. The skis. He's got to find something to beam, and he will collect uh, a couple of assists there. And high five George cleans Foreman. up. So that was a four man and uh, successful in getting the Uber out, but they're going to have to back away from the second. Unless Vanny goes huge here. Uh, Vanny decides to not take the 1v5. Or, you know, justified good, good decision. Play. Good, yeah, good play. play. Good play from Vanny. They're not taking the 1v5 as a. You know, the George Foreman does kind of work in that it resets the round timer. So now they have, they basically just reset. Witness are probably going to get this Uber for last, and I thought it's going to be close. Ooh, nice air shot onto Mirror Man. Oh, and Jay's going to throw his get this, this push into second might be a disaster. Last but Witness trouble, Gaming though. are all very hurt. Yeah, two get very weak. Their high five goes down in the fray. Branson will eat a pipe from Habib and also die. So two go down. Mirror Man in trouble underneath. Will get taken out by Laz, who's now isolated. And Marmalou is on the prowl. That second He's buying time, actually, though. Yeah, this is a good play by Laz. He's going to... No, manage to just... Skis needs to get this Uber, but they're all stuck in spawn. Although they have no one on the point to cap. They're also distracted. Now they finally get placed on the point oh, to cap. But there's cap. no one to block it, and they get... They got the Uber, but it was too late. That was a massive play from Fryotech. Yep, they took so much space there, as they're known to do, and then basically stood on the point for free as Witness Gaming couldn't get out of spawn in time, and as you mentioned, even though the Uber was charged, no time to use it, no opportunity. So that is a very quick 2-0 for Froyo Tech. Not looking good for Witness Gaming, they gotta make an adjustment here. It may very well be the last round of the half, but take us away in this next mid. Or at least having a mid. And we do see an early fight on, on the Tetris as a... Marble is going to back up here. He's going to be very hurt, but Ash is also going to fall in. They both eat a lot of Mirror damage. But... Oh, Laz is going in, trying to make some space. So your soldier stuffing right, but Ski's going to fall. Yeah, those soldiers went in one after the other. A lot of space made initially by Mirror Man, and then Marmalou able to come in and clean up the M named soldiers from Froyo Tech. Are going to give me a lot of tongue twisters, but also giving Ski's a whole lot of problems in terms of staying alive. That's another Froyo Tech mid, and those. Look to do the same thing again here and get a quick 3-0 for the half. Yeah, Windows Gaming are having a big problems protecting skis, whereas I don't think Maze died yet. So this is this might be one of those games where, you know, if Friatech can keep getting on skis and pressuring him, it's gonna be much, much tougher for Windows Gaming to win this match than Friatech. Especially on mids, you know. If you can't even have a mid, I feel like their mid fights have ended so quickly, it's you know, by this point you might as well go on second. It's rough. They need to whatever is happening, they need to address this. Friatech is gonna Uber in on second here actually. They're trying oh, to skis catch out skis. Oh, he needs a pipe, but in the end, he is going to be safe for now, but they're going to lose Ash and Branch them off of that. Yep, Skeez is going to have to be all the way out. Gets Artist healed up a bit here. Banny goes down Frantic to Laz, want to push the five push. before. Oh, and they get Skeez immediately. The collapse comes through, and unfortunately, sounds like Dolphin may be having technical issues, but Freyotech Tech cleans up and goes up 3 nothing at the half. Yeah, for those of you, you can't see at home, but uh, Freyotech Tech just pushed a dry 5 before and just won. That, that's all that happened. So, you know, basically the same thing we were seeing earlier. Uh, I didn't see any sick air shots, so I'm going to assume none of them happened. But regardless, that's a 3 0 for Freya Tech in eight minutes, which yeah. is. I expected it, you know, maybe by a. I, I knew for. I, I figured Freya Tech were going to win. That was my theory, but I didn't think they'd win this dominantly. Yeah, looking at the logs here, yeah, both demos having a good game, but, you know. There's only so much you can do if your team's getting rolled. So, you know, Art is putting up some good damage, but, you know, May having a perfect game, whereas Skis, I think he died on mid, two or two of the mids at least, and then died on last, I guess. But regardless, yeah. it's not it's not looking good. Like, the stats don't even really matter that much if you get rolled in eight minutes, you know? Like, it doesn't matter that much. It, it, the stats aren't going to be the solution for the problems. This is going to be like a, we need to deep dive here, figure out what's going wrong on mid, and adjust. I think the adjustment to make is to shut down the Froyo Tech soldiers. Mirror Man goes in, gets some good damage. Marmalou goes in, cleans it up. Uh, this all onto skis, of course. So, important to be watching the skies if you're the Witness Gaming Scouts and uh, really deny that airspace coming in to threaten skis. 
I mean, it's, it's really hard too because the fire attack are so well coordinated that you know you, you can deny one of the soldiers, but then the other soldiers will get them. And even if you deny both of them, you have Habib just probably holding W into your combo. It, it's just really rough all around. Fire attack are so well coordinated that it, it's it's tough. I don't know. What, I don't know what adjustments they have to make. I'm not a top level invite player, but they're gonna have to figure out what's going wrong here. Yeah, nor am I. I think the protection of the medic is the uh, the clear issue, as we've mentioned already. Even if Skis isn't dying, they're eating a whole lot of damage and have to back out and are effectively dead for a good chunk of a fight. So it's really all about the uh, Skis protection, I think, here in terms of witness gaming adjustments. And for Froyo Tech, not too many adjustments have to be made, clearly. I mean, their medic's staying alive. They're getting great coordinated plays and really cleaning up all around. So... I think Froyo Tech's going to choose to stay the course here, and Witness Gaming has a decision to make on what they're changing for their mid fights. Yeah, I uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Witness Gaming just basically full sent for May on mids at this point. I really wouldn't be that surprised because, like, by this point, if we can't, you know, the theory might come out, you know, oh, if we can't protect skis, then let's just equalize the medics so that way we can just fight again on mid. Yeah, we we can have we can hold second. That way we're not stuck on last because they haven't. They've tried to push out into second, but realistically, that that's all they've done is a. Uh, you know, what is gaming seem to have figured out their problems, or at least they're content with grading up because uh, we're into the second half now. Yep, it is a 3-0 lead at half in the first of five matchup. Froyo Tech looking to close this one out and get very, very good positioning for the rest of the season. Here is the mid fight though. Marmalu taking some extra space on the flank here. Getting early rockets on the skis. He's already have health. Box into the corner. Now Miramid going in and Jay's behind. It's a beautiful pincer from Froyo Tech. Habib does go down, but it is a one for three so far. This rest of Witness Gaming is collapsing. Grand Slam goes down. Ash, 34 health. Has to be careful here, but Actually, two get picked up. Jay Meerman go down. Before Art dies to himself. <laughs> Ash is all alone and still stalling out this mid cap. He's Poor artist. He tried his best, but he died to himself. Sticky Ash getting hunted down in Valley. Not you know, not long for this world as a uh, you know, Witness Gaming still unable to clean up May. So May continuing his perfect game so far as a uh, has May taken damage. I, I, he has taken damage. I'm sure. Okay. He, he just uh, I I he they just can't kill him. You know, it's pretty hard to win tier 2 when their medic has permanent uber red, and your medic does not have uber red. Yep, Froyo Tech, as we speak, picks up that 100% charge. It's only 65 right now for Witness Gaming. They're going to be building as fast as they can, but still at a big dishead. High five is up on Engineer. Art is getting weak, but will escape with his life. Laz down below, getting good spam, but it's going to be this push through the right side for Froyo Tech. Once again, they go in with the uber. Now good pressure onto point. There's the collapse over Laz. Art is weak. Habib two out. shot. Habib and uh, Mirror Man both go down. Now Marmalu falls as well. Three down, four down. Vanny will go down. That's five. May in trouble all alone. The will perfect game. Die. No. The perfect game is ended. Witness Gaming with a beautiful hold. Picks up the team wipe and they'll be out to their second and looking for more. All right, that's what Witness Game needed. Even though they didn't win mid, now they're back in it and they've been uber out. So they actually have something to work with here. You know, I feel like the entire game they've had barely anything to work with. Maybe like a secondary fight or two, but overall... You know, I th this is what Witness needs. They need to get something out of this round because this might be their best opportunity. It's Laz really, really going to eat a lot of damage. He might be dead. Yeah, he's going to crater. Jay is up on Sniper right now on this midpoint, and Froyo Tech finding that pick with the last crater. High five also weak. They're going to take back all the space they lost and get ready for an aggression into second. Jay still on that Sniper holding the valley angle and looking to go forward here for a quick pick if he can find one onto skis. Peaks the angle, doesn't take the shot, or if he did, misses it regardless it'll be back out to the midpoint and a reset here for Freya Tech. yeah Freya Tech have the luxury of time they know that they have uber at so they're going to be backing up here as witness gaming goes in and they have a sniper which is going to mean they have to pop early which is what they do but when it's gaming already at his artist is so deep in skybox yeah Freya Tech were basically already at with just nerve there it's like kind of the only player to pick is now Freya Tech have Actually, they're going a little earlier than expected. They have 10% left on the Uber. They decide to rotate Valley, get that remaining Uber as they go in. Miss Gaming are going to get the point, but you know, Freya Tech do have Uber at the work with here. We'll see if they can catch anyone out. Jay looking for the shot. Get skis. It's beautiful on camera as well. Good job there. Dolphin with the nice headshot. Jay picks off the medic, and it's once again full ad. Not that they didn't already have advantage. Witness Gaming in trouble. Going to back out here. That was actually really smart for Freya. They. They got the pick and they decided they knew Witness Game Room to send players behind because we saw a couple of players try to go behind. So Fire Tech just backed up the second, made sure they couldn't get back after flanked, and then pushed in the mid. Because 
that, that was actually a really smart play. I like it. And it's Jay still on Sniper here. So with this game, you have to figure out a way to get Jay off of Sniper because right now he is playing basically perfect PF2. Yep, and can shoot for free here. Nobody really uh, challenging his location. There's two behind for Witness Gaming right now. Marmalute's 1v2ing. Ash will get low, but stay alive. And Furry Tech still with that full Uber. May kind of isolated. We'll go back to choke. Ash is standing around there looking for a kill. Can't find it. He and Laz both go down. Uh, Marmalute, the only one to fall from Froyo. So, with player add and Uber add back, Froyo go to the opposing second. And Shay is still on Sniper. A big issue right now for Witness Gaming. Yeah, this might be a little tough depending. They do have a sniper, so this this push is going to be interesting because it's a full Uber ad with sniper, which on one hand might make it really... Actually, uh, they might just elect to not go with the sniper. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to let Skis have his Uber. They know it's close and they don't want to risk having a post fight here with the easily killable sniper. Jay's going to peek from the left side. Oh, he's yeah. not going to take the angle yet. But yeah, why uh, why force the fight? Yeah, why force the fight when you just already have the pick class up? <laughs> yep, so Jay's going to now peek this side angle, but... Look at Skeezer positioning, he knows. Yeah, they... Jay getting very ballsy with the with the peak right now, but Arnis doesn't find the correct sticky positioning, hitting the wall there on accident. Uh, so no debt, no issue for Jay. He can just uh, rotate around again, going to the other side. Here's a bit of a bomb though, some scuffle on nice the from point. Skis. Mirror Man dead, but yeah, Skeezer staying alive with a nice surf, and uh, that's a Froyo, man, Froyo 2 man. Witness Gaming now with an opportunity, and they're gonna go under. Yeah, they they do definitely have to do something here off of that two man. But it's gonna be tough because they're pushing into a sniper. If Jay hits his shots, there's gonna be tough. They well, the Ubers out. do get the force out. They're gonna kill high five with it, but that seems to be it. And Jay's still on sniper, which means that it's gonna be easier to defend this play. Oh, Actually, what is game are gonna well. pop out first immediately? The is gonna be caught out, and looks like what is game are gonna get this play. We do have Marmalou on last. They know they all have to chase Marmalou. Oh, that's really unfortunate for Witness Gaming. Marmalou's still alive as well. Gonna get. Oh, I thought he was gonna get a pack, but. And no. now Freya are back in. That that plays With single handedly. If Freya Tech get back in, and now it's a dry fight. And they're Although gonna get a ban immediately. <laughs> I hear a headshot on Yeah. Ash 7 health. Mirror Man up top. Oh, and Ash dead to Jake. Picking up another headshot here. Looking for Laz as well. Laz gonna go down to 2 health. Looking to get chased down. But uh, Laz is gonna pick up Jay now. So the sniper finally eliminated. Last dies for it. In the end, to Mirror Man. There you go. No more Jay sniper. Presumably, uh, for all we know, Jay comes back up sniper. I was gonna say his reign of terror is over for now, but I don't know. It might continue for all for longer, depending on how he's he feeling. He stays. Cause... He stays on sniper. <laughs> Love to see it. As a, you know, Ubers are close enough that it make, it kind of makes sense. And I feel like Witness Gamer probably expecting this, but I don't know how much they can do about it. Yeah, there's not. Uh, I mean. Going counter sniper, probably not the best choice here. No one really wants to see Highlander, so uh, getting that spam, denying the angle is going to be the best course of action, I think, for Witness Gaming. For your tech, poking and prodding, it's even Ubers. Chain wants to get this angle Ooh, and we'll immediately find a gets quick Laz. headshot. Laz is dead, and now so much more space for Froyo. Jay peeks again, but doesn't hit the shot. Yeah, he's gonna rotate there, you know. It makes sense because they all pretty much ran at the doors. They do get bandied for in the sack. They don't actually get skis quite yet, but Jay Soldier goes the, the air air shot, does get it, but they do Mirror get the man. drop. Oh, it's my another God. four man. It's a four man. Uh and May will live with full Uber. But May Artist still Artist that. gets the force, that's huge. And he lives. That's a massive play from Artist, because now it's just a beep, so they managed to salvage that at the end. It's gonna be pretty much even Ubers here. As that was a huge salvage from uh, the witness gaming remaining players there, that they just had to go out and get that force before Freya pushes in the last. That might, you know, this this half's a lot closer because of the big plays like that. That's definitely what witness gaming need if they want to stay in this. Yep, staying alive a little bit longer. 340 on the round clock. The sentry gun level three on point. That right side being protected, but uh, we're off of J Sniper finally. Dies yeah. twice. We'll come up scout. <laughs> yeah, when this game, you can finally breathe a sigh of relief that they can't just you know, instantly die from across the map. So, love to see it as, uh, looks like Winnis Gaming are holding more normal positions. I, I, I think someone checked it, I assume, because they're all, they're standing in a sight line, so I, they must know that Jay's not on sniper anymore. As here comes the Uber at, there yep. we go. Oh, Meep doesn't eat an air fight, but they're getting the point time here. Skis on 98% Blast Uber. Good job. Oh, but the cap's undefended. There's the scout popping back. He's skis. Now Marmalou in the air. Look for Artis. We'll clean up with the air shot. Jay now in. Looking to extend the reign of terror on scout. May in a bit of trouble. Not able to heal up Matt. Jay, who's very weak. But the skis movement is bomb. so good. The two rockets don't connect enough. And then skis finally dying to a pipe from Habib all the way across the point. That'll be a hold, though, here from Witness Gaming. Only Benny alive. And yeah, looking for an ambush here. 
A rare and famed Banny hide in a corner, and Banny does decide to run away and preserve his life as he wants to fight this with his team. And he's still actually in here fighting this. He knows that uh, reinforcements are coming. Marmalade are going to fall. That means that oh, Banny still wants to fight this, or at least he wants to poke and prod. He doesn't want them to get this for free, but in the end, he's going to give it up as a fire dude who have a very small ad to work with, but nothing super sizable. So, but this gaming actually managed to get off of last in the whole second, which is honestly a big win in my mind, considering how this match was going previously. Yep, any momentum for Witness Gaming is good momentum for them. Froyotech continuing to build a little bit faster than Witness Gaming, but it should be marginal and won't really result in an ad worth pushing off of. So, we're gonna sit back and relax and watch a little bit of choke spam for the foreseeable future. Yeah, we've settled to the classic uh, mid to second Sunshine stalemate. Honestly, I, I feel like one of the all time classic uh, stalemates in Tier 2. Yeah, not that uh, I actually do enjoy this one quite a bit. It's definitely just a... It can be a tough nut to crack if their med's doing a really good job. So we'll to see as Marmalade is easy and it's actually going to be a fake bomb. But Death no the bomb! Else... Death the traps! Oh, but they don't need to in the end. Then Artis will that. Maybe look to reposition. There's a bomb from Blast going into the valley. A bit more aggression coming forward. And he's going to fall. Yep, that's two down. Blaz now dying on the other side of things. May might be in a bit of trouble that's getting a three cut for... off. And it's Jay and May versus This the is so bad for Fur. Yeah, the, for, the, that was a very heads-up play for Witness Gaming to just go, get the pick they got in the push-in. Like, Ash gonna fall, not gonna be ideal, but they're gonna clean up Jay off of it. And it's just on the fur attack was really salvage here. It's actually, Rumble jumping behind, interesting decision. I think it could be good, depending on how much time he can buy, or if he wins this 1v1. Unfortunately, not able to win the 1v1. That's the tough one to win, is a Rearman might be caught out here, too. Witness Gaming actually do, That's I don't know if they got Uber? forced or they just used, but... They're gonna drop Artist, they're gonna kill a beep off of it, and they actually get two for Grand Slave going massive. Can he get more? Brands, I'm now having to bait skis forward a bit here. They Jay get Jay too. Last one to the rescue here. Brands, I'm dying in the end to Mirror Man with the well-timed rocket. But out goes Witness Gaming. Witness, uh, out goes Ray with Excuse me, Witness Gaming. Wait, Blast didn't advantage. catch up, May. 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 They got him, and he lived. That's huge. Last living with seven HP. That's well. massive. A lot of weak players on the side of Witness Gaming, but getting that med kill overall way more important. So, hopes for a comeback here for Witness Gaming. Want to get at least a round on the board with 20 to play in the half. It is now or never to get the ball rolling. Prairie Tech so good at making adjustments, so Witness Gaming gotta capitalize on this aggression. Yeah, you know, I guess you can't you can't, uh, can't counter by the Prairie Tech halftime adjustments if you just go down 0-3 at the halftime, so... No. The Giga Brain uh, plays from Witness Gaming in the first half. Uber is out, denying the sniper's damage. The gun now going down. Pressure onto point by Brandslam. Habib going forward. Now the bomb comes in as well. That's a breeder out of Mirman. Habib dead as well. Now last ad falling on the other Girl. side. But Witness Gaming will get on point. Cryotech unable to contest. That is a round 3 1. There were two Veritech players just shooting. I, I don't know who it was. They were shooting someone just in the corner as the scout just AFK'd on a point in one. So shout out to whoever that player was because that death was like. That player died, but they won the round, so probably not worth it in the end. As Crytek actually are going to settle into a one, three to one advantage here. Witness Gaming finally on the board as Marble is going to jump very early and try to get that spam onto the Witness Gaming combo. It looks like he's doing a pretty good job of it. Oh, it's a double bomb though from the soldiers going in onto Skis. High five and Ash both dead. Mirman will. Crater, but down go Art and Skis. Marmalu, the only other casualty for Froyo thus far. That is four, including the medic and demo on the mid fight picked up by Froyotech, so out goes Witness Gaming, Froyotech with another convincing mid, and all that momentum seems to suddenly have gone away. Witness Gaming are just like kill binding on mids, like they show up to mid, and I just, like, five seconds passed, and then just half of Witness Gaming is dead, and I don't know what's happening. Like, I know they're bombing on skis, but everyone's just vaporizing. It's, it's wild. These, Froyotech has these mids down, Pat, and Witness Gaming have, I don't think they've won a mid yet, have they? I don't believe that is the case. High five up on Sniper, Red Slam on Enchi, so the standard uh, holds coming in here, but Furry Attack has this Uber and they want to go forward. Looks like just trying to figure out where they're going, as Witness Gaming still building up this Uber, and uh, might be a push to the right side. Yeah, they are going to Uber in the double scout Uber, just trying to clean up as many kills as they want. They're going to pressure the point now. Artist doesn't have any stinkies on it, but they're going to drop Manny there. Manny going to get a little too greedy on the point. They're, they actually aren't Last even going to get any kills. Oh, this, that is That's terrible. massive. They didn't even, they didn't, they got point time, but that was it. Bandy pretty much died. He went from 125 to zero, one pick. And then they, they just didn't get any picks. They're going to push out here. Froytech's only real players. They try to go for a back half or try to get a miracle force here. Ski's going to drop the five one. health out there. Is that force they talked about? Yep, great force there. Even drops the wall. 
Uh, yeah, Habib is uh, having a really great game overall, so <laughs> probably laughing at uh, that force. But there you go, Witness Gaming pushes out of last. They had to pop the Uber, so 50% disad. Freya Tech still in control of this game. Yeah, the Leapfrog here, it's definitely not ideal for Witness, but you're hopefully going to have Uber for last. If they can avoid any disasters here, they can kind of settle into this Leapfrog and just hope that Freya Tech blinks first. Freya Tech just need to make sure there's no disasters that happen on this push. If they can get second without forcing, that's huge, because then they could just settle to try to push oh, last. last is in the air, but there's the force. force. Beautiful play by Laz. And Witness Gaming top. are all out. They only get last here. They actually, Freya Tech drops too. They drop Habib and Mirabin trying to get a little aggressive, so Witness Gaming might immediately refight this even without the Uber, but Baby's behind. So oh, Benny being behind right now, a bit of a menace. We'll take the 1v1 versus High Five. Looking to escape. Oh. High Five with the pistol picks up the kill. So, Witness Gaming holding on to their second and now has big ad. Marmalade going forward, looking for a play. Might be finding one here, but now goes down. So, one of another man sacks. Freya Tech down two. We'll give up this midpoint for free, and we'll see an opportunity for Witness Gaming to go into Freya's second. Yeah, no off classes right now. I'll see. There it is. Banny's building the gun. I I knew that <laughs> someone's gonna do something as first. But this game actually Wait. in Green Ridge immediately. Banny's heavy now. Okay, so that was the yeah. second play. Yeah. Oh, and Marble is also hiding in spawn. They have two players hiding in spawn. Yeah, this is this is actually. Your man might have this for free. He they get Artis the pressure from just Banny being on heavy in spawn. Who this? He actually gets Brave Oh, Skis is this isolated. Is... All alone on the midpoint. Skis they just wiped. That what was a full this? wipe. Banny has Disgusting. Baby Heavy got a 2k, they just wiped! Uh, put this man on a Highlander team. Clearly, best Heavy on A. I'm not sure who I just offended, but I'm sorry. Anyway, Freya Tech uh, takes a convincing win there in the team fight and goes forward, looking to make this a 4-1. Yeah, I, I'm i just in shock, and with, with just the single, like, just them hiding in forwards off of the Witness Gaming kind of... I don't even know if Witness Gaming can realistically expect that, but regardless, we'll have to see how they can adjust here. They are going to kill the Gunner pretty much immediately. These Witness Gaming last holds have been pretty strong so far, but... Uber is faded now. May getting focused on by I think I jinxed it. Uh, the heavy dies. Habib and Mirrorman both dead, but so They're many trying to kill Marmalu, but it's just, yeah, that's, that's a full wipe and a... That's a 4 for 1. Artist putting a plus prep in chat because somebody traded out for him. Regardless, that's going to be a 4-1 for Freya Tech, so, you know, Witness Gaming, they're showing some signs of life here at the end of the match, but they have 13 minutes to get three rounds. They might be in either desperation mode, or they're just in, eh, let's just get some rounds. We're going to lose, but get those match points. Well, it would certainly help the chances of our prediction going through. Of course, we both thought 5-3 so far for your Tech. Uh, a lot more dominant than we expected. I want to see Witness Gaming win a mid. That, that's what I'd like to see. Habib, uh, Habib will go down. <laughs> there we this go. might be the chance, but we got to be careful of these soldier bombs. They've been so effective. Actually, yep, there's Wait, the mid. I you get it. it. Let's you go. Witness Gaming Wait. won a mid. Habib just killed blinded on mid, so Frantic had to leave. Well, there you have it. And now uh, a bit of hope for Witness Gaming. Yeah, if Witness Gaming can't win this round, this is going to be pretty rough. Uh, Freya are being very aggressive in Joker. They don't want Witness to get it for free. As they, they, you know, they know Ubers are even there. Actually, they're going to pick off Laz. They just kind of ran at all the doors, seeing what shook loose, and it ended up being Laz that went back to the respawn queue. It's only one pick advantage, but Freya Tech will think they want to do something hiding. off this. Marmalu, uh, he's going to peek and be seen. So now Witness Gaming aware of that, but a lot of uh, fighting in Choke right now. Marmalu with the bomb, and he's going to go on the skis, and he gets the kill. It's another ski step. That's a drop this That's time. Adorable. Two rockets. Uh, beautiful bomb, though, from Marmalu. Yeah, beautiful bomb and an yeah, unfortunate uh, movement from skis there as he is going to drop, and that's going to be Fire Attack going to have a much easier time pushing this point than before, you know. Pretty much exactly what they want. Witness Gaming don't have any off classes to really counter this, so it's just going to be them pushing in. We'll see if Witness can get the force or what they even want to do here. It looks like they don't want the force. They're just going to post up for a second. Yeah, at this point, hoping to uh, bait in a Freya Tech mistake instead of going for a play themselves. 30% and climbing right now for Witness Gaming, but uh, Freya Tech looking to not use. Instead, they will go in with the Uber. Get last pretty weak. Did they catch of... anyone? They no, didn't. I don't think they do here. Skis gets down to about 100 health, but doesn't uh, doesn't go down. So now Witness Gaming with full Uber. Uh, soon, I should say, on their last point. Operation kills keys, not successful on that point. As uh, Windows Gaming aren't going to be able to get into a leapfrog situation here. They're going to have full Uber to push out of, but they got to be careful because if they uh, squander their opportunity here, Fire Attack might easily win this match. We'll have to see what they do. As Fire Attack are all posted up here, and Mirror Man going to be behind. behind. 
No, he's wait, all, he's on last. May ties, may ties, though. He's on last. Can anyone get there? It will be two soldiers and a scout going back. They have that three may... people oh, on last. Oh, somebody dying. They sent three back. Put three die on the side of Frayutex. Wait, Artis, there's die. no way he lives. Oh my god, he actually lived. But he is 21. Oh, but Jay is in now. Will find the, find the kill. High five dying as well. So what went back and forth, who has advantage, uh, ends up with Witness Gaming in a lot of trouble here. Ash picks up Jay. He's the sole survivor. Now goes down. This will... Uh, be an opportunity they do have here. A, they do have three spawns, so Marmalu might uh okay. Yeah, he's not <laughs> he, gonna go in. Fortunately, Marmalu hit the tab key and was like, oh, wait a minute, and backed up. But, but now Anderson, here comes our here comes our three reinforcements. I don't think they're quite expecting it too. They're hurt. They're sticky off. And just, Mirrors like, under the fire all. Round. That's it. They're all on the point. And, yep, that's the fire round. So that's a five wound for fire attack. Overall, very dominant performance from them. Yep, not making too many mistakes, keeping their medic alive and rather untouched for the majority of the game. Witness Gaming, on the other hand, is really struggling to keep skis alive and well. Uh, my game just crashed, so great timing on that, but, uh... Yeah, honestly, optimal. <laughs> oh, I think, I think oh, everyone's I have game the crashed there. <laughs> there's, yeah, everyone's game crashed but me, apparently, so there's that. Uh, but, yeah, very dominant showing from Fortech overall. So, you know, the 5-3 we predicted, not exactly... Fortech came out much stronger than I anticipated on this map. You know, maybe it's just the Ringer of Blues. I don't think even Skis necessarily... I don't know how much I, I, I'm gonna fault him specifically supposed to just you know being a ringer medic is pretty hard but regardless I, I think it's pretty objective to say that may had a very very good game and skis had a very unfortunate game yep skis unlucky there correct score guessers up on stream now good job dolphin uh getting that final all, on all according to scripts yes yes if you were wondering if it was uh, a scripted match that proves it but we have logs now up on stream art does 250, but is not enough, especially in the face of Habib's 305. Or, excuse me, 265. 305 healed per minute. Habib getting tanked with the heals. And yeah, don't let those medic deaths fool you. That May was alive. May like died like twice in the last like two minutes. May was alive for the vast majority of this match. Yeah, May uh, definitely was dominant in terms of healing and staying alive. And uh, again, even if Skis wasn't dying, he would often be forced out of the fight. So. Uh, really great aggression from the Freyo Tech soldiers, and uh, very coordinated bombs as well. Yeah, definitely very coordinated from them overall. And, you know, I it, it was encouraging that Witness Gaming came back, but Freyo Tech came out so dominant. And again, the, the only mid that Witness Gaming won was when Habib basically just rolled out the mid and immediately died, and Freyo Tech just backed up. So even though they won that mid, that was like basically like the smallest mid win you could possibly get without like losing the mid later, you know? Like, they showed up to mid, got mid for free, and then had to immediately push into, like, five players on second. So, those Frotech mids were so dominant overall, I'm, like, I'm, I'm shocked, honestly, that they had that mid on lockdown. Yeah, they were just insanely strong. I think they only lost one when Habib had an unfortunate uh, death, as you mentioned, or as you put it, kill binding on the mid fight. So, they had to get out, but immediately brought it back and uh, took the round there. I think we have combined logs up now, so good damage out of Habib. Jay with 25 kills, top fragging on the entire server. He went off and had a very strong streak as sniper as well. That was devastating. <laughs> what a what a great match for Baney's the bottom damage. Love to see it, honestly. You know, Baney really playing that protect May role quite well, so he can't, you know, the damage just wasn't there for him, unfortunately. A win is a win, so... uh I'm sure Banny isn't too upset about that. I wonder if they'll be joining us for our interviews, but seems like not if they haven't mentioned it yet. Uh, anything else you're seeing in these logs? Uh, I'm seeing the Witness Gaming Soldiers have better stats than I expected, considering it's a roll. I mean, not, not that that's a bad thing. I just like I, I was expecting some sad soldiers, and there wasn't really that many sad soldiers. Like the stats are way closer than you would think, considering it was a five. -1. Oh, we do have a, looks like, I believe, that's probably Danny. Yeah, they're, 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 they are. They're, uh, Frytech players are uh, streaming in right now. I have to ask, did you guys join because I said something on stream? Nope, uh, Dolphin invited us. Good, 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 okay. Oh yeah, I'm keep on me. <laughs> I'm trolling Marbaloo. <laughs> Uh, well, congrats on that win, a pretty dominant one. We were expecting Witness Gaming to maybe take a couple more rounds off you guys, but you held them to one. How's it feel? Feels good. We probably could have pulled off a 5-0, but, um, you know, happy with the win regardless. So going into the match, tell me, how'd you, how, how do you feel coming into the map Sunshine specifically with, like, the pick bands? Did you have any specific theories, or were you just, you know, testing them out, seeing, you know, basically what they want to pick? 
Um, well, we did the pick ban like an hour before the match, so we didn't really have a lot of time to prepare for Sunshine. In fact, we didn't know it was going to be the map until like literally 30 minutes, I think, before actually. So we, uh, we kind of just speed ran it, like kind of going over what we know they like to do, kind of what our game plan was, and just went for it. Decided to just play confident and aggressive and just hope that, uh, you know, it'd give us the upper hand we managed to get that strong 3-0 lead so we had a lot of wiggle room after that absolutely now marmalou i wanted to talk to you on the soldier class tonight the coordinated bombs onto skis who's calling those how are you planning those uh just walk me through them my uh, fearless soldier duo goes uh skis mid and then we jump onto skis <laughs> yeah that's literally, uh, the name of the strat is the skis mid which is where you bomb the enemy medic so when skis is actually in the server it's only that much more effective oh i see it has this energy it powers up you know yeah mm -hmm. and going into those mids specifically you guys were very very dominant on the mid overall you only i think you only lost one just because habib had a sad demo mid which really happens but other than that you guys were very dominant on the mid overall so can you maybe uh walk us through you know what exactly was other other than bombing skis? Was that just literally it, or was maybe more than that? <laughs> I mean, it was basically <laughs> uh, bomb skis, but also just try to keep them guessing about where we're gonna bomb from. And then um, Habib definitely was sad. Maybe Habib can tell us about how oh sad he god, was tonight. Yo, oh my god! Yo, listen, listen. No, I literally I've heard it for, for the past <laughs> hour. Coping, coping and seething. I'm reeing technical difficulties the player i'm literally demo man with my ear I, my headset stopped working right before this match it was working last night i can't hear out the left side i played that entire match with my right ear only my oh, right ear I'm that sounds so horrible upset. i am so upset you have no idea yeah, i yeah having te technical difficulties before a match is actually just like totally messes up your game and then i, I was trying like. to set up my internet my internet wouldn't work either like i was supposed to mge but then i just like hopped into like scrims completely dry yeah it was really cool when you showed up at 10 10 and had a mic that peaked every time <laughs> yeah, my, you spoke yeah, like, it just was the worst thing i've ever heard all night, bro. and then Shit all is, you talked about I'm actually, my ear i'm livid i'm about to go to the gym and literally hit a pr that's how upset i am Ooh. Yeah, channel Ooh, that, that hey, not bad. i yeah, am that's... so mad i'm literally seething that's some positivity to... though you know gotta turn that anger to something productive I need to heal. Yeah. Turning yeah, it but... into a win, though. Big, big I need, win I need to heal. Yeah, I exactly. Heal. I'm, actually, yeah. I'm, actually, I'm actually coping. Habib, um, you know, I told him before the match, you know, he's he's a multi-time world champion. He can he can adapt. He can roll with the punches. I believe. I know. Him. I know I can't, but it's just so annoying. Like, my, my third eye will always carry me. But, like, why am I having these headphone problems? This headphone has been with me since 2017. That's and probably it's why. Not that's probably why, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you gotta yeah, but it's an audio okay, technica. Then. This is a studio quality. How do you think I make those bangers in, in the studio? <laughs> Hello? It's just unlucky timing, Habib, but it's so okay. Awful. Yeah, well, that is next You weren't week. the only I'm, one. I'm coping. It's, be, it's better now than playoffs, you know? Yeah, actually, I think everyone was crashing about me. It was, it was just the the, <sighs> it, it, it was the, the, the technical virus was spreading. Does that mean there's an update happening? Oh. I uh, uh, <laughs> love well, to I... wish, hate to hope, and have my dreams crushed. But uh, you guys get a very convincing win against the other top team, and this season it matters most because there's going to be a land. So do you guys think you're going to have your full roster at that land? Hope so. <laughs> what at Philly weeks. land? Oh man. No, no, at RGL land for playoffs. RGL land. Oh. Um, RGL land. Let's just say there may be some surprises. We'll keep it as a surprise, but definitely a yeah. interesting news to hear. We'll have to see uh, what the hidden tech is. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna guess it's Froyo related with the hidden tech. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. I, I'm gonna mute now. All right, well, I guess on that note, do you have any uh, further questions, uh, Godfather? Well, now I just said I was going to mute. You can't throw it to me. Oh, I, oh, God. All right, well, I don't have any further questions. We can questions. close it out, though. So if you guys have any shout-outs, Penny, Habib, Marmalou, the winner, winners here in tonight's match, go ahead. The floor is yours. Sure. Well, uh, shout-out to you guys for putting on the show, for casting, and giving the people the entertainment. I uh, want to give a shout-out to Jarrett, who I hear is going through a rough patch uh, and couldn't make it to uh, the stream so yeah wish him a steady recovery yeah um and ggs to witness gaming um you know looking forward to the land next week uh if you guys are in the east coast area it's going to be in philadelphia june 25th through 26th there's going to be 20 teams and dozens of spectators it's going to be a full house of tf2 nerds so 
We'd love to see you guys there. Um, more info on that at resup.gg. And besides that, you know, well, there any way they can help uh, fund the prize pool? <laughs> yes, there is a crowdfunding <laughs> campaign at the moment. Um, they can donate or buy merch. All that is found over at resup.gg. We're doing some uh, raffles for supporters as well as various prizes. For example, for our uh, $100 donators, you'll be able to join some of the top level TF2 teams for a Philly cheesesteak meal, the most iconic. Uh, item you can eat while in philadelphia so that could be cool and it goes to a good cause you know obviously uh supporting the land making it more sustainable and uh raising that prize pool to give that extra uh prestige you know so uh yeah that's pretty much it and uh just good luck to everyone with the rest of the rgl season happy marmalou anything from you guys Marm. Mm -hmm. oh you're welcome for the ad read by the way but uh shout out to jay tyler mirror man Good job out there, and uh, shout out to all y'all. Good to see you at land. Very excited. Shout outs to uh, you know, the team. Y'all y'all killed it. Shout outs to WG for oh. games. Shout outs to the viewers. Shout outs to production. Shout outs to everyone making the land happen. Shout outs to Jared. I've had back problems my entire existence, so I know what that's Ooh. like. Yeah. Wait, shout out to Zoe. Shout out to Zoe. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Chang. And with that, Space Ghost, anything from you before we close this one out? Oh, uh, he had to play. He played the match, so I gotta give the uh, shout out to Skis. Yeah, you know. always good to see him out there. Uh, shout out to you know, production. Shout out to everyone watching. Shout out to both teams playing good games. All that good stuff. Yep, absolutely. Shout out to you guys uh, for putting on a great show. Space Ghost, always a pleasure to cast with you. Dolphin behind the scenes, putting on excellent production as always. And with that. Freya Tech taking the win 5-1 over Witness Gaming in this Week 4A matchup. A lot more to come this season. Getting ready for LAN in Massachusetts at the end of the season. So get hyped for that and have a great night. Later.